what is good friends and welcome back it's been a while since my last stream i tried to make a stream i tried to make a stream last friday i couldn't why i'm gonna tell you everything about it what happened to me nothing happened to me but uh the reason behind all this so let me lower the volume of my game as someone commented commented that the game sound was interfering with my voice so this is fixed so once again welcome welcome back friends thanks for being part of this operation gamer tag 821 what is good uh first time i see you so welcome already have 10 people in this chat amazing this stream i mean amazing so uh yeah i want to make a stream my goal is to make at least one stream per week especially on friday as a an introduction to the weekend and to do a recap on what happened in the warpath world during that week so that is my goal i'm great black hollow welcome back so this is my goal but what happened last week is uh well the last week i was busy i was away from home i spent a week in florida with my daughter and my wife as it was spring break for us canadian and i know that spring break for us it's in two weeks so half of the population is the first week and then it's the second week uh for you guys in the us i think it's a bit later um and for everybody else around the world i don't know if you even have a spring break but we do and i enjoy my week in florida we went there for a week just to escape the cold and snow from canada so it's still kind of cold out there in canada uh, and florida was beautiful i mean if you've never been there if you live in a cold country and you want to escape uh i highly recommend florida for all of you players sorry in florida what's up so we enjoyed the nice weather out there i spent a few time i i spent some time to play but i couldn't stream from the hotel room as the <laughs> the wi-fi in the hotel is always miserable i mean every time there's more than zero person connected to their wi-fi uh, it doesn't work well it's not made for streaming let alone uh, gaming at the same time so that was out of the way i still managed to play as we are in a conquest so we're going to talk about that oh san diego i'm sure you have beautiful weather out there in san diego so yeah so that was uh the deal and before going to florida for a week it was tax season for us i mean we're beginning tax season in canada meaning that it was like the, the deadline to contribute to our uh our rsp for those who don't know what it is it doesn't matter it's boring stuff it's part of my work so it was really busy the last three weeks and at the end i decided to spend a week in vacation uh, so that's what I did, and that's why there was not much content available to you and not the stream that I usually do on Friday. So I decided to postpone that stream on Sunday. So happy Sunday for everyone, um, and maybe happy Monday morning for you who are completely the other side of the planet. All right, so let me zoom out. So first thing first, we are in san francisco what's happening not much sadly uh not a whole lot is happening and i know that you friends uh ask me a lot of questions what's happening why are we being attacked what's going on what's the deal and all those questions i will try to answer all of them but keep in mind <laughs> i don't even me i'm confused right a lot uh, things change so fast in this game it's very hard to keep track if let's say you disconnect for a whole day and let alone a week imagine how much how much thing can change so uh, i will try to do my best we're gonna recap till the very beginning of this conquest just so you guys uh, get up to speed with the current situation 
if this interests you, of course. If it doesn't, just say that it doesn't. <laughs> so, oh, all right. So we spawn in this corner right there. And uh, good tip, the blockhouse, after getting it on reset, it will be slow burn. And the blockhouse holds 10 bases. Not quite sure to understand, but... Uh, I I get it. Yeah. Um. If if you have a good conquest, and um, Jesus or Jesus, I mean, maybe it's Jesus. So yeah, most of the time, what the alliance will do is they will turn on the blockhouse uh, to prevent getting burned from behind. I guess. So yeah, that what that's what usually happen. So this is a common thing. But let me finish on this, and, and uh, I'll be available for a question if you want to go ahead and ask me anything. So anyways, just to recap, the coalition, our coalition is composed by S21, AV Avengers from server 30, FWZ from server 30, and Goth from server 3, I believe. I don't want to mess up. So yeah, we are S21, FWZ from server 36, God from server 3, and Avenger from server 30 versus S40, hashtag S40, uh, NFG, which is the, the new 14 with a bunch of mass players. A19, which is also, which is mass players, most of them. And that's it. So four versus four. And if you know the alliances I'm talking about, you're you're like mag, but this is fairly unbalanced. Is it is it a fair matchup? No, it is not. And I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll go with mass. Uh, I'll answer your uh, your question about mass a bit later, uh, Mr. Sevens. So yeah, uh, highly unbalanced. Ideally, if we could play against Avengers. That would be a good start, but from what I understand, this was not this. This was out of question, and I and keep in mind, everything I say is my voice and not the alliance voice. So I express my opinion. I don't represent the alliance. I don't speak for them, and I don't get involved with any diplomatic, any any boring stuff like that. It doesn't interest me. I don't want to be involved in that. I think that my opinion, I think that politics, it ruins the game, plain and simple. This game is about fighting. It's not about uh, setting themes and, and, uh, and discussion. You should enter a conquest team with whatever you want and hope for the best. That makes the most exciting battles in Warpath. It used to be like that back in the days. Now everything is ruined because, well... Uh, you guys want to decide which uh, will play against which, and then everybody knows what's gonna ha happen at the end. And um, the team that is that will most likely lose will not have the motivation to bounce back or fight back. So yeah, it ruins the game. And politic is it's not even for a legendary or epic. It it's in gold and silver and everything, right? But I do understand. The behavior behind that everybody wants to win the conquest so you will always want to ally with the strongest teams of course strongest coalition makes sense right but in that case it was more to pay respect for our allies that we um team up from the beginning of the paramount cup so this is the last conquest before the paramount fi finale and we just wanted to keep the, the team as they were. Sadly, for S40 and S and hashtag S40, they were counting on 37, they were counting on 14, and they were counting on 19. But you know what happened last conquest? They kind of disbanded, they broke into gold alliance. And I think they because they knew it was hopeless. Oh, my game just crashed. And they knew they, they didn't have a chance, so that's what they did. And I respect their decision because between you and me, legendary is garbage. 
uh, it's not worth having a legendary how it is right now. Zero zero seven. Hello. Hello, friend. How are you? Always ultra. I like the name. So yeah, legendary as it is right now, it's it's worthless. There's not. An, oh, we're gonna look into that. It's uh, it's worthless. There's not enough teams to make a legendary battlefield. And I expected something like that because if you look uh, before the matchup, there were like three great teams, Avengers, S21, and FWZ, every, and everything else. And it's not to disrespect all the other alliances. It's I have to tell who's strong and who's weak. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's quite unbalanced and it doesn't matter how you fix it it will end up being garbage because in the end if the two strong teams doesn't play against each other it's not going to be exciting it's not it's not going to be fun for anyone for the strong ones and the weaker ones it will be absolute garbage so we're stuck with that and we're trying our best not me but the r4 they're doing a great job a wonderful job trying to set a battlefield so everyone will enjoy it but it it rarely happens we have to fix battles we have to set battles and we often made fun of 14 and mass for doing that back in the days yet we're doing it now and it makes horrible fights uh everything is is planned like at 10 o'clock we're gonna fight those alliances and then uh, at, at one o'clock, we're going to stop. We're going to take a break. And, and, and over there, you don't fight. There you fight, but fight in this way so we don't attack them too hard. I mean, it's ridiculous. This is not how it works. If you guys want to do a friendly battle, pay attention. This is the best tip I can give it to you. If you guys are stuck with a fixed battlefield and you want to do a... A fixed battle a friendly war because friendly war they suck but if you want to make uh more interesting at least don't set a time for an attack set the battlefield okay and tell your enemy break the treaty when you feel that it's best for you to attack us this way you get surprised by an attack and you have to bounce back and you have to defend if everybody is ready at the same time nothing is going to happen okay it's gonna be boring so at least make it unpredictable so it's exciting for everybody because a, a fixed fight you know when it starts you know when it ends okay and as when it gets interesting this is when um uh, they sign a peace treaty and everything is over and it sucks anyways <laughs> so Gabriel say everyone gave up too early i think s37 s40 are not at all powerless and could have helped 14 and 19 to balance the fight i agree with that but we cannot go back in time right i don't blame mass and 14 to break uh into gold i think they did the right thing as legendary is is dead anyways but if it would stay like it used to be then it could have been a little bit more interesting because I'm going to talk about S40 and hashtag it. So just to make this uh, things clear, I'm going to include hashtag S40 when I say S40. Okay, it's going to be easier for everyone. So S40, their coalition, I'm going to talk a little bit about them and don't be afraid. It's great things. Okay, I think that S40, they have a great future. So anyways, back to the coalition. So S21, we spun in this corner, and when we saw the matchup, we were all uh, getting depressed because we knew nothing would happen. So in, during the phase one, before the fort opened, we built along the uh, military lab and also south, uh, southbound toward Goth. We... Um, and nothing happened. <laughs> all right. Uh, Goth they got busy fighting i think s19 and nfg but they got safe zone uh not by a19 i said s19 but it, it a19 same thing right 
Uh, the thing is, NFG, they are much stronger than God. They have more whales, so they, they were overwhelmed by them, and they couldn't secure the military lab. So we um, gave them this military lab as we captured the one near FWZ. And during that, during phase one, sorry, during phase one, we fought a friendly wars with Goth, and it was the best one so far. I mean, Goth, I didn't speak much about them, but they, they are a high energy alliance. They are motivated. They, they knew they, they didn't stand a chance against us, but they attacked us anyways. And it was the best friendly battle so far. I have some video footage to share with you guys as soon as it's ready. I was, it was about to get ready before I left to the airport, so I couldn't fully finish the video, but it's done. It's 99% done. I only need to add a few things to make the video pleasing, uh, interesting to watch. So you will enjoy it. It's quite nice. So I made most of my kills during that battle. I, the, I was lucky enough to be in the front row defending. And when you defend, you make a lot of kills, right? Uh, so that was it. And that friendly battle, it, I think it happened... I don't know exactly where it happened. I think it happened in that area. It doesn't matter, but it was quite enjoyable. And, and for everyone, if I have some God uh, audience, thank you, friends. Uh, it was a nice battle. All right. So let me zoom out and try to explain you what's happening. So that was during phase one, but a very few battles happened during phase one. And most of us, believe it or not, don't have, right now, we don't have our 25,000 kills. I was lucky enough to uh, reach this objective a few days ago, but most of us don't have our 25,000 kills. So then, uh, bah, 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 bah. so we gave this four to God, we allowed them to, well, we didn't allow them to build, but we, um, we told them to take this fort, as we took this one, we took the town as God cannot take uh, their town. It's taken and under control by NFG. Now, most of the battle happened between FWZ and uh, S40 in that area. And maybe some of you were lucky enough to witness it. It was truly beautiful it was very exciting to watch and s40 like i said they they are for real they are a high energy alliance uh, they were great with their sister alliance hashtag s40 and all the action happened here uh i you saw the footage you saw my game footage if you didn't see it go into my library i um broadcast this this video for you it was by far the most exciting battle and when the town was uh, up for grab uh, we saw a lot of fireworks a uh, very intense battle between fwz and s40 and s40 it it, it it was a close battle but the the advantage was on fw side as they had a little bit more whales but S40 had the best activity so far in the whole game. Very active, very coordinated, showing a lot of teamwork. It was simply beautiful to, to watch. So FWZ got a fourth. S40 got also a fourth. So a lot of battles happened here. Then um, phase two opened. So when the fort opens, so that, that is phase two that we are in right now. And uh, phase two, we were hoping to have a little bit more action. Hamad, hey, Mag, I think the best solution is to log the server. The problem with the game right now, with the players that leaves the server after they lose or join better alliances. Yep, yep, yep. With migration, migration allow that. So migration will allow you to uh, switch server uh, to form a better team or leave your team because you keep losing. I understand that. I did it many times, but Lilith is allowing that. And before 
a uh, glorious server uh that's when 14 and mass gained their their um, stack their their power stack their players and became very powerful because they were very active recruiting people i know that mass back in the day they were paying migration and they were paying people to come play for them as 14 they were surfing on a is a, a, a wave of success and that naturally gathers players so you get defeated by 14 and you say wow this alliance is amazing can i join i want to be part of this this is understandable and i did this many times but reality uh catch you really quick when you become the most powerful alliance nobody wants to attack you so yes you get all the rewards but in the end do you enjoy the game farming 90 percent of the day the rest is you save zone everyone this is boring and at this point whatever you do the result will stay the same as as long as you don't find a proper balance but most of the time those super alliance will set the table uh ahead so they can guarantee their win right maybe lilith should lock the big server before the cup so no alliance or players allowed to live so right now i'm mad i'm mad sorry i'm mad so right now nothing can be done until the cup is over then we'll talk and i, I was talking about a few friends of making a gold alliance in server 21 because as it is right now we're, we're not enjoying it so and and keep in mind we're not being a lot of players were complaining uh and it, it may sound selfish because yeah you guys are the strongest alliance yet you're complaining about the lack of kills you made that problem i do agree and this is part it, it, this isn't part true right it's a real problem for everyone uh but ultimately lilith needs to do something about this i know that <laughs> death wish he made a video did you watch that which that wish video about his solution to the this current problem so in a nutshell he's saying that uh <clears throat> he's saying that lilith should ban or prevent strong alliance from joining the a conquest until they break apart well no because lilith allowed us to make those teams by playing by the rule right you cannot punish someone for playing by the rules lilith rules it doesn't make any sense lilith is not even punishing the cheaters so never mind punishing the players that follow the rules right it doesn't make any sense so they have to fix it in some way and i predict that after the cup the problem will self-regulate because at this point uh, we're not enjoying that and a lot of players are thinking about joining or creating a gold alliance so they they are uh, so it's more enjoyable all right so let me finish with what i was about to say uh about the the the, the current battlefield here or the balance or the lack of balance anyway so we enter phase two so phase two everybody in 21 is excited and we have some r4 saying guys uh i know this is not uh fun for everyone we're gonna try we're organ we will organize a three versus one war so 21 versus got 19 and fwz this way we will we will have plenty of action and we will enjoy it so everybody had high hope for this battle at last a three versus one this should be exciting right um so what happened is let me zoom in the fort is there for 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 okay so what happened is uh now it's hard to see ah there you go okay so we built until the arms factory Nineteen, I think they are there. Yeah, nineteen, they are in this invalid patch of land, and got they are in this patch of land right there. So FWZ, got, and nineteen. Everybody see that? Now it's very hard because they all remove their CC. So 
they plan so we were supposed to get attack on this front this front and this front where it's glowing right we had high hope for this battle and it happened to be a wet firecracker so everybody everything was set at a specific time there were uh, there were actually two rounds i think and both were a, a kind of a bust and i don't want to lose respect for fwz got or 19 but it was done in inside in, in, in two hours it was done no more bases to burn and then a few minutes later they all removed their cc to rebuild uh and reactivate their main piece of land so this was the most disappointing battle ever it didn't last long and uh most of us gave kills rather than harvest kills i made a few and most of the, the kills i made were uh, soloing bases but not everyone can do that right if you don't have enough artillery or enough or a a, a good tanking unit you cannot solo a base you need to be part of an army group and an army group most of the time you lose everything and you collect maybe one kill so yeah quite frustrating and and then that's when people start freaking out uh losing patience um going ballistic and cd chat <laughs> okay i'm sorry for i don't control this uh and then fwz they start creeping on us in this area we had about this amount of bases already i teleport there truck my way to the border right exactly right in this area no i did not record the fight i was in the hotel room could it was not possible this is where happened all my action i made my twenty-five thousand kills there uh there were big players uh, from fwz oh Ahmad, thank you wow thank you my friend thank you i appreciate it i i and i mean it so all the battle happened here adele from fwz professor k all the strong players they plop some bases i chat a little bit at adele i said come closer and he came i was with hawk a strong players and then we exchange fire it was a, a, a it was a nice battle but it didn't last long uh and when the battle was over um yeah i had to take the plane so my plane was uh was ready i entered the plane my, from montreal to plattsburgh it's about from plattsburgh i mean from orlando to plattsburgh it's a three-hour flight when the flight of the plan landed i connected the game and everything <laughs> everything went crazy so fwz they all retreated i think it would black hollow i think it would i'm expecting that so yeah so when the plane landed the chat was lit uh it, only three hours and a lot of things changed so fwz they retreat they left the area and they went to support avengers oh they went to attack 40 right there as avengers they were in trouble yep so what you see here is is weird so before going that we're fighting a lot of our allies, but we're not fighting against our enemies. That is the weird thing. So you see A19 right there. We have a fort there, but we're not attacking there. We 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 cannot burn. We have a rule of not burning 19. Why is that? I don't know. I didn't ask the question and nobody answered it. The, the other question the question from the other players. So I don't know what the deal is. I, I'm, I was expecting when the fort opened to burn everything and put A19 in their safe zone. There are our enemies, but we're not doing that. So this is confusing. Instead, Avengers are letting, uh, they let NFG build in this area. Okay. Maybe to promote fight. And they allow s40 to build in that area and 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think that when Avengers did that, I think they made a mistake. But tr bear with me, guys. I don't know all the details about that. I don't question AV. So right now, Avengers, they are fighting S40. And it seems to me that they are struggling against S40. I did not expect that. Are they try? Are, is Avengers only fighting S40 or they are fighting also NFG? Because it would be three against one and uh, Avengers, they are losing that battle. They ask NFG to sign a peace treaty. Right now, they have a peace treaty with NFG, but they don't have a peace treaty against S40. Right? Yeah, they don't because uh, you see that this was burning and now they, they are fixing it. Um, yeah, so on, on this part, I'm lost. So when the plane landed, the chat was lit. I had a, a few players, uh, a few S40 players messaging me saying, why is FWZ attacking us? That was not part of the deal. Are they having trouble? Are, uh, are, is Avengers asking FWZ for help? I don't know. I don't know. We cannot intervene. Avengers is at the complete opposite of us, so we, we cannot do anything about it. And I thought that we had a deal with FWZ to attacking us, but they're not attacking us. They rather want to attack um, S40. So this is it. Yeah. Um, what's going on exactly? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And um, like I said, this is part of the, the game that I think the politic in this game kind of ruins it. We have different teams um, every hours. So I, I try to just focus on my game. But then again, there's nothing to focus on because we don't have any action. We have a brave soldier. Oh, Diamond Dragon was there. Maybe he's gone. I don't know. Earlier, a bit earlier, maybe two hours ago, there were a few gods that tried to attack us. We got rid of them. But besides that, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, this conquest so far, it's kind of a bust. It's, it's the worst so far in the history of 21. There's no action. There's not much to do. Uh, hi, <laughs> bro, you're not fighting. Why? I'm not fighting because there's nobody to fight, brother. Look, so I'm going to zoom in you, so you better understand. So right now we can only fight against God. Okay? God, nobody. Nobody. They are our friends. They are part of our coalition, but we're fighting them for some reason. There's nobody there. Okay? Nothing's going to happen right there. And yet, we're not attacking A19. Can you explain that to me? Because I can't. So there's this guy. Can I burn this guy? There's no tag, so it's, it's confusing. All the tags are farm. That's it. So yeah, we've been farming so far a lot. And then A19, A19, and uh, not A19, NFG, our rival. We have a peace treaty with them. <laughs> Why? I, I, I don't get that. So I'm sorry. I, I told you before, I cannot answer all your questions. I'm not part of the R4. I don't want to do business with that. I'm not interested. The politic, I don't like it. So... Uh, we have hope for a, a three, another three versus one, or maybe two versus six when the blockhouse will open. So this will be the, our last chance to have something interesting. Uh, if Avengers, yeah, thank you, brother. Thanks for the roast. If we have a, a Avengers and 21 versus everybody, it could be, uh, maybe it could be the ultimate solution when you're at this moment, when you're trying to find something interesting, it's a bad sign. Theoretically, I mean, ideally, we should be fighting Avengers. But even if we want to, we can't because we cannot reach them. So we have to think about something else, right? And I'm not too sure if 
high command or the r5 would like to fight against avengers that would that would maybe hurt the relation but then again this game is about fighting not politics but i'm gonna stop rambling about this oh maybe you want me to burn somebody okay let me let me see if i can um let me see if i can kick the ornate nest we have this guy here suko do we have neo online it's kind of late maybe he is online i'm gonna message him he's not a super strong guy I, I could solo this guy. Uh, can I base smartly? Uh, I'm stuck here. So that would be dangerous. That would be risky. Um, I think I can solo this guy. But they are blocking me. Is there somebody else I can attack? nobody there jeez i would love to base to base this guy uh let me find something nfg we have a peace treaty with them so it's not gonna happen maybe we have a god player around do we have somebody But be patient, my video against Goth will be online this week, and you're going to love that. You're going to love this video, I guarantee you. Nope. You see, no Goth is there. Nobody got left the building. How about FWZ? Do we have a FWZ? Oh, we do. All right. So we got this guy here. All right. Good. We're going to smoke him out. How about that? I got <laughs> six out of six airlift. I have everything. I didn't use much airlift. No, no black. Ah, that's a good question, Black Holo. So, yep. Uh, everybody's being respectful so far almost everybody and uh part of the reason is uh, 14 and 19 they humble down a little bit and viper is not in 21 anymore so viper used to be a, a gaslighter a a person to instigate a fight to do a lot of uh, trash talking uh, mockery he was saying it's banter and should be tolerated, but banter is an exchange between two persons, right? That wasn't banter because only Viper was opening his mouth and uh, trying to instigate, and and it was just annoying. It was it was it was kid stuff, but in the end, it was more more annoying than anything else. It was a good he is a good fighter though, but he got removed from the alliance because he, he's being told to stop it. And he didn't want to stop, so we had to. They had to remove him. Um, I know a player inside Twenty One uh, was talking a lot. Oh, we have people coming. All right, we're gonna we're gonna set the table for some action, friends. Oh, we have a sniper. This guy knows how to play, so I like this guy. So yeah, there was a guy in 21 uh, who was very active in city chat, uh, being hostile and, and, and going apeshit against other players. We asked him to, they asked him, I didn't get involved in that. They asked him to, to stop being hostile. So, but keep in mind, like the exp one player doesn't make the whole alliance. It's if someone, let's say it all, it all started when uh, his, his trucks got attacked constantly and he, he lost his mind i understand that 
getting your trucks attacked sucks, but it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Oh, we have some... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's gonna miss his jump. Oh, he missed his jump. Poor guy. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, quick. Attack his artillery. Oh, that sucks. Don't attack his truck. Attack. There you go. There you go. I want a piece of that. There you go. Boop. I'm going to hit the truck. Oh, I'm going to hit this guy, Midi. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to town right now, but... Whoa. selection is <sighs> my selection got a reset again I don't know why Come see daddy. There you go. All right. I like that. Live on top of it. Let's see if I can buzz this anti air. Ah, yeah. No, I did not build infantry. I wish I would. Um, and I did not because I don't have infantry tech. I have good tech for tank. So I should rather build a super heavy, right? But if I had a choice, uh, if I had the tech and infantry, I would definitely go with infantry. It is much better to tank. Well, he's... Uh... I'm going to buff up. All right. Supply, buff... So I'm glad that this happened during the stream. This is amazing. Boop and boop. I will build up my army with a 40% barrack extension. If you guys don't know what the barrack extension is, it gives you 40% more troops inside your barrack. So you only get this at a certain VIP level. If you don't have it yet, it's because you didn't reach that level. And this is one of the most useful uh, buff ever. It's very convenient. It gives you great firepower. Oh yeah, he's going to get hosed down, this guy. Yeah, yeah, he backed up. All right, I'm going to retreat for a second. I'm going to retrain my tank. So uh, a, few change, a few things change since my last stream. Now I'm building up my anti-tank gun. 
like so and i uh yeah time space it's hard to tell because nobody's winning yet but we may win we'll see and i do have darkwing now as a officer so this is the new thing uh, at the last uh, lounge i fully awakened darkwing i was falling behind in this officer but i decided to spend a little uh, uh, some coins and awaken him and i'm glad i did because he really rips he's freaking good like if you have a strong jet or you love to play with your jet and you're considering this officer uh go ahead he makes a big difference he's really strong darkwing with nagarani i don't have nagarani yet so i'm using uh, Blade Wing. Very good. So you. Oh, I see a jet here. I'm going to support my friend right there. Pew, pew, pew. I'm going to steer clear from this anti tank gun. You see, this guy is melting so quick now i fly away there's an anti-tank gun oh he's getting hosed i've noticed that there's in bombers there's more martyr's watch bombers than vanguard bombers if you like those dive bombers uh, Martyr's Watch Camp is more popular than Vanguard Camp. The reason is, most of you think that if the uh, Martyr's Watch bomber is good against armor, it will be good against artillery, which is not the case. Vanguard bomber, they dismantle, <laughs> they, they annihilate uh, artillery, not and not martyr's watch so it's really up to you i mean not a bomber is better it it all boils down to maybe camp bonus and if you prefer to attack whoo if you prefer to attack uh, artillery rather than armor i'm gonna set auto attack now i'm gonna go for the, the light thing sorry can't speak pew pew Oh yeah, artillery is backing me up on this, and Grim Reaper. I'm gonna interdict his artillery. Ha <laughs> ha! Now Grim Reaper. I'm pre-charged, so this base will go down quick if everybody does his part. I'm gonna take this helicopter. All right. A cool guy, Grim Reaper. Really, he's not afraid to scrap. He's not afraid of anything. So props to him for placing his base at the front. That's what makes it beautiful to watch. And to play, right? yeah i'm mad somebody pointed that maybe it was you right you're in 21 you wrote that that you teleport and your helicopter got left uh, behind was it you i think it was you Okay, Marco, a surprise attack. You don't launch surprise attack when you think you may win this conquest. A surprise attack. I should make a video about this. I will make a video about this. So, so surprise attack. Be, uh, so, so listen, it's, it's important. There you go. Now surprise attack can be launched when you enter phase two. Surprise attack is you can enable it. But once you enable it, once you um activate the surprise attack you cannot deactivate it it's a permanent move so it will last until the conquest is over 
Surprise attack is a defensive move. It is purely to prevent uh, your enemy from uh, capturing or scoring points or collecting rewards. It's the sole purpose of that. So it, it, there's two, two things to count, two pros and two cons to the surprise attack. The two pros is, first of all, when you activate surprise attack, you can teleport anywhere in the map as long as one, it's unlocked, it's available, and two, it's neutral. So neutral means it could be under construction. A village under construction is still neutral, so you could teleport there and block the construction. So you're allowed to teleport everywhere, like I said, as long as you have access. So let's say that the blockhouse area is not open yet, you cannot go there. Nobody can, even if you have surprise attack. The second pro is, uh, well, it, it, the, the, uh, let, me, let me go back to the first one. So the first pro, uh, yeah, you can airlift everywhere and your airlift um, regenerate faster. The second pro is then when you su activate surprise attack, you can, you unlock more mission for rewards. They say you can earn tons of buffs by completing surprise attack, and they're not crazy. Um, so objective, destroy 80 bases belonging to commanders from other alliances. Mission rewards, collect 1.75 million medullary funds daily for three days. Nothing crazy. Destroy three villages controlled by other alliances, and you get uh, in exchange, collect 30 universal five star pieces daily for three days. It's nothing crazy. Uh, to the front line, kill 180,000 reserves. That's a lot. Belonging to commanders from other alliances. Damage plus 4% only for three days. And then complete the construction of 12 village. You should do that. Damage resist plus 4% for three days. So this is just, I just want to look at the battlefield. Okay. So this is the two pros of the surprise attack. Sounds good, right? Well, be careful because the two cons is if you currently occupy a strategic place or you can capture a strategic place, this strategic place no longer buff you. So what do they mean by that? So let's say we launched the surprise attack Right off the bat, we lose the firepower and HP plus 5%. We don't have that anymore. And it doesn't matter if we capture it after, you don't have any building buff. So does the fort and the blockhouse. And I would think that the surprise attack doesn't give you the military funds when you hold the town. Um, so that's my... I never tried it, so I don't know. I assume it is, so don't take my word for it. And then the, the, big, the big hurt is the rewards for mission related to strategic places will be reduced. All right, so why I said that you only launch a surprise attack as a latch, last ditch effort or a last resort, you know you're not gonna capture those strategic places anyways. So might as well sacrifice that. You don't sacrifice much, right? So capture the arms factory. So the, the small objective, they are cut by half. And the final one, capture two towns at the end of the conquest. Capture two arms factories at the end of the conquest. Control one settlement, three and five settlement at the, until the end of the conquest. Control the town hall at the end of the conquest. So all of these big objectives that pays the most, you get 0, 0.0. You get nothing. So if you don't think you will capture those, it doesn't hurt you. However, it will hurt the other alliance if you can block them from capturing it. You, you capture them so they don't, then they don't receive the rewards and they, they may affect their uh, ranking in Paramount Cup or it just piss them off <laughs> okay because everybody plays for the rewards right there you go so the surprise attack you don't launch that 
unless you know for a fact that you will never access the fort area or the blockhouse area you don't want to activate it too um uh, too late also because it may be too late to bounce back so the surprise attack was a decision made by lilith to kind of give hope to the losing team to hurt the winning team kind of not change the tide um entirely but hurt the dominant alliance so while i talk i talk a lot but i do want to play a lot and this guy he needs to go so we're gonna get rid of him and i hope that somebody will jump behind me so i'm gonna assemble an army group i'm gonna keep a minimum of two units in my base why i do this when you siege a base in enemy claim land listen to uncle tony you are getting ambushed that is for sure when i do that somebody will ambush me so i'm gonna make a rally so i have better control so i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna pick two um officers more suited for busting a base i will pick uncle sam and steel fighter this way, I have more durability. I'm going to send out my plane for air cover. So I cannot tag, and I hope that other players will do their job with me. And somebody will most likely jump behind me and try to bust my base with only two troops inside. So I'm going to leave one artillery and one anti-tank gun so my base is not entirely defenseless. And I'll be very careful. Ooh, we have a truck. And I'll be very careful of not getting ambushed. At least I will be prepared for that. I know it's going to happen. All right, so one truck less to worry about. <laughs> so I'm going to pull a move. If I'm smart, I could attack from this region as nobody can jump here. Can they jump? You do a spot check. So nobody can jump there. So I'm not going to be stupid. I will move on the side. Right? This game is just, a, it's, it's not just about attacking somebody. It's attacking somebody the right way. Ah, you see, there's a fast group coming. So I will still move on the side. Okay. I feel like it's more secure on this side and I can count on, on this team a fast group to support me, to help me out, to help me defend against those fast units. Without a fast group, artillery group is worthless. They will get annihilated. So you see, they have some, some action going on here. Oh my. So we have to get rid of this group before I can do anything else. You know what's going to happen if we do not? I'm going to start engaging the base. And when you start engaging the base, you have to commit to it. If, if you pull back or you start attacking the troop while you're sieging a base, then uh, you get completely destroyed. So we have to get rid of those. It is a weak base, only 286 million power. For us, it's it's weak. All right, maybe it's strong for you, but I've got I've got some pretty heavily modified units. So what I'm gonna do here? Well, be very careful. Take your time. Don't be dumb. Most of the time, I am. But I will do an effort to show you how it's done. Play by play. I'm going to bring my howitzers as close as I can. I'm going to use this Raven Troop. Uh, I'm going to use their, this Raven Troop to pre-charge my howitzers. All right. Like so. 
All right. And if they get close, they're going to get whacked. Now they're going, they're getting away. Am I in range? Yep. This guy may not be in range. So I'm going to bring this guy in range. As well as this guy. Okay. So all my howitzers are in range. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Oof. He did the right thing. I think I got B2K with a strong howitzer, a uh, strong infantry. Oh, I got police artillery. Okay, you got some good. So I have a proper army set up right there. Thanks to my friends in 21. So they gave me good troops. And now I, ah, oh, there you go. You see, poof. Now I can initiate the siege. And look at this base burn instantly. I will not lose much units. I can tell you. There you go. Pow. I lost what? Two units. Okay. Because my artillery was pre-charged and I didn't attack too soon. I let my friends clear out the troops defending. And now you can expect somebody jump behind me. It's going to happen. It's a matter of time before it does. Look around. There you go. So you see somebody jump. I'm gonna let this guy. Okay, now I'm pre-charged. So if he pulls a move behind me, so naturally this guy will hurt our reserves or supply line, which is understandable. I, as long as you're ready, as long as you expect it, it's fine. I mean, it's part of the game. So his jet, I will try to bust his jet. Uh, okay, go. We have infantry knocking on this door. Somebody jumped again. Beef. So we lost one RT. He got a good base. He got some good durability. So I lost two or three artilleries. So nobody is behind me. We're going to remove this guy. Ah, this base is activated. Jeez. You know what? I'm going to go around this way. It's too dangerous. Oh, no, 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 no. So let's be quick here. While he's getting engaged, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Just make sure that nobody tried to do a quick one. Okay. So now I lost one, two, three, four units. I'm going to retrain. Did I lost? Uh, yeah, I lost some tanks. All right. Good timing. Anybody else want some? No? Oh, he's back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to attack this guy. Easy. He, even though he got ambushed uh, pretty good, <laughs> we're not going to attack this guy yet. He's way too deep inside this territory. If we go for him, even though it's tempting, you know, this guy is at 5%. We could smoke him right away. If we uh, can get there. And if we do, you can bet money that somebody will jump like one, two, three bases. They will ambush everyone. So we're not going to do that. We will be a little bit smarter. Well, time space, yeah, call me paranoid. But when you're in charge of other people's unit, if it would be only my unit, I would go. But when you're in charge, when your friends gives you their unit, you're in charge of their unit. So you have to respect uh, them a little bit. That's my way. And, and we don't benefit anything from destroying that base anyways.
there the risk is there's too much risk uh for the reward and you know what this guy he could have a sos so you start engaging and boop his health goes back to 30 percent then everything falls apart oh good question motivate king we're gonna look at the reputation i'm gonna collect this and uh, let's look at the reputation conquest ranking uh fighting machine yeah not the best condition so i'm way down there uh 290 place like so okay not too good and all the big players uh mao 99 is on top autonomous from fwz tlmss this guy we got destroyed <laughs> he's on got third place so fwz they got some pretty solid players pepe yeah pepe i know pepe he was from g27 madlax and professor k as well so a lot of strong players like fwz they they were they got spoiled by this battlefield they had all the action that's why they are on top alliance reputation we are in third place for now uh there is no reason for us to push as uh, the paramount finale is in less than one month so we're gonna save our resources for the grand finale we're not gonna spend we're not gonna overdo it for this round uh, a19 in last place paramount paramount points so you see fwz they already have their 150 fighting points we are way down there and i'm afraid that we may not reach 150 due due to the lack of fighting okay so there you have it there you have it yep so mao is in charge of s40 as in as and he is in charge of hashtag s40 same guy i think at least that's what i i've been told so yep so this is hashtag s40 much weaker than s40 uh, S40, they're right there. So they have like 50% more power than hashtag S40. And in S40, they're doing a great job despite having only like three major players. They have Mao, Tandat, I hope I pronounced this name correctly. And they have, oh, they have Canopy. So they have th four players and they have um, B52, formerly from Mass and before that from s7 so they have like four solid players uh fwz they got their leader they have also pepe autonomous professor k iron storm is pretty good adele he's a strong guy madlax so yeah fwz they have more uh strong players uh queen uh why why jinchi <laughs> sorry yeah so they are up there that's why they uh they can hold their own against s40 and hashtag s40 all right so that was exciting eh uh so like yeah that's it but it's it, it died really quickly so fwz they don't want to engage uh much a little scrap for you friends So we're at this point where we are begging for action. And kill wise, so yeah, like I said, I did my 25k in mission since two days now. It may be a few hours after the we enter phase two. So this is all done. Uh, I only need to achieve rep reputation, which is the bunkers, but I'm going to wait until... Uh, we have the level 13 bunkers. Mind you, friends, everything could change. I, I hope it will. Everything could change when the enemy uh, will launch the surprise attack, if they do. If they're not in a position 
to do. They will not use it, but I hope they will, as they will be able to teleport everywhere and cause chaos. So imagine if NFG and A19 launch the surprise attack at once. They can cause some trouble, and we need to be prepared for that. So that's why I, I told God, I said, guys, you should... So this was not built, was not secured properly. It was only at one layer. So I said, God, please build a little bit more around this lab. So at least we have a good buffer if, let's say, that um, NFG lands there and mass or A19, they land there and they start building uh, central command to capture this military lab or, uh, laboratory. So you have to be careful for this. The enemy, they won't tell you they will launch a surprise attack. Of course, it's a surprise. Uh, so you need to be aware of that. Yep. Uh, so time space, you're correct. So it's very uneven matchmaking. Was that a dick? Could be. Yeah, I think it's a dick. So yeah, it's a really bad. So I'm going to do my uh, daily missions. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm going to do my daily missions. Hopefully somebody will uh, try to attack us during that moment. Claim that I cannot claim this. It's already. I didn't buy the Battle Star pack this time. I'm not gonna buy the Rally the True. By the way, friends, for all of you big big players out there, did you know that all those big players they have 20, 30 thousands reserves extra? How can they do that? How is it possible? So you. You trigger the, um, not this pack, but when you're running low on reserve, there is a pack that is called, uh, not Rally the Troop, but La uh, Last Stand. So the Last Stand gives you, uh, offer you the purchase of 2,000 reserves only twice per day. So you buy those, you're now at 4,000 reserves, spare reserves, and then you purchase the Rally the Troop that revolves every week. And this one is expensive. So this is the only way you can build up reserves 10, 20, 30,000 over your max capacity. All the whales have those. So just in case you didn't know that, now you can buy your victory. Back in the days, if you remember, you could not buy reserves, right? So sharing account was not really an issue. Uh, it doesn't matter if you share your account while you're sleeping. If you have no reserves, you can't play anyways. But now, since you can purchase reserves, let's say you have a supply of 30,000 reserves in stock. You share your account by three other players. You can fight 24-7. And if you are well that you produce battle reports of 10... Uh, 10 troop destroyed versus for one loss imagine how much damage can you do so yeah that's why all the whales they are well positioned oh we have a, a new customer here so that's why the whales they are in good position always good position in fighting machine because they have strong units but they also have extra reserves so this is how you um do well in the uh, fighting machine. Tell us about players in 21. Who are the best fighters? There's a lot of be good fighters. I mean, uh, to name a few, you see this guy phenomenal. Now he's getting waxed, but this guy is a good fighter. He knows how to play and he's, he's a rally leader. He always, always making rallies, always active doing rallies, either helicopters or tank rallies. So he's one of the good guy. I don't know everyone. And keep in mind, some players may be awesome, but they play in another time zone. So I don't witness it. Okay. So just that I don't forget anyone. Mm -hmm. 
B2K. So this guy, he is a free to play player. All right. He doesn't have any bistro officers. He doesn't have uh, blue units yet. However, oh, I'm getting waxed. I went from 17 jets to six jets <laughs> in um, what three seconds so b2k i'm gonna train those however so yeah b2k is a free-to-play player but he's focused on infantry and only infantry so he got amazing infantry troops and without this guy we wouldn't be able to burn uh, as much base because he's always uh, he's online a lot uh, he's online when i'm sleeping he's on a different time zone but he's he's retired now and he have plenty of play time so yeah he's always uh, most of the time he's online and ready for battle always making groups and he got some good infantry so you don't have to be a spender to be a good player so this guy he focused on infantry he don't have any air force he don't have anything else besides infantry but his infantry are pretty good and he's active too uh sniper ahmed is very good with artillery so we have a lot of good players like players that that make a difference not because they are spenders but they are active and they know how to play so those players they they invest a lot of time in the game they may also spend some money but they when i say that they know how to play so they when they pull a move most of the time there's a reason behind it they just don't do things randomly they understand the weakness uh, uh some weak point of the game they understand the units how they work um so they they will be they will be successful on the battlefield by destroying the enemy with the least amount of reserves that's the name of the game Average power of S21? Oh my my. So who's... Yeah. Oh, that was a weak bomber though. Yeah, fighter. I'm training my fighters. So we have, inf uh, we have howitzer without fighter coverage. That is a mistake. Why we don't have any fighters? Because we have this guy flying around and uh destroying all our fighters we don't have a good good enough troops to counter this guy the average uh power of 21 you mean by player i think it's around 350 million per player if you average it so for me it's useless to drive uh too deep this is like a well-known trap I'm not going to do that yet. And with this guy, um, with this jet, uh, we'll lose everything. So you need to be careful. But in S21, it's a mixed bag, like any alliance. You have those, those whales, you have those dedicated players, and you have those selfish players the, the players that only play for their kill ratio but this is in any alliance if if you think that you have a problem uh you have the same problem as any other alliances it's not your alliance it's a it's a common thing any new about uh, the this band? Any news about G27? Why did this band? I think I talk about that, but I can talk it again. I, I don't mind. Uh, run for it. So G27 are last. Um, successful conquest was the one 
before the Paramount Cup finale. And the demise of G27 originated by the fact that we, a combination of many things, the first one being overconfident, okay, uh, and we didn't, so everybody thought that it would be an easy victory, that we would just roll over the enemy, and we did bad on every aspect of the Paramount. We did bad on the collection mission, the capture mission. We did bad, like, from A to Z. We didn't even bother about doing bunkers. Uh, we, we, we gave that win to, I think, Mass. We, 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 we were just lazy, in my opinion, and I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not afraid to say it because that's what it is. That's what we did. Ah, I'm running away from this guy. Fuck. Why does it do that? Sorry for my language. So yeah, it's a combination of, of many things. What Avengers did better than we did is a lot of their whales, they were sending units in army groups, which we didn't do. We had a lot of whales, but doing their own things like most of the whales do. But the Avengers, they had a system where uh, whales were sending their units in, in army groups, and then they would take care of the uh, air uh, supremacy or air superiority with their jet. So that's, they play like that. Uh, that and, and when you have whales unit in groups, it makes a huge difference. It helps a lot because those blue units. Oh fuck! This jet again. Uh, why it keeps doing that? Fuck! Like every time it does that, and I lose a crazy amount of. I lost everything because I click. I right click on my base to call back my jets. But it asks me about the army group, which there's no such thing for jets. Anyways, I'm not going to lose my mind over it. I'm just going to try to avoid this mistake again. So yeah, and uh, so to, to get back to your question, time and space. So what happened during that conquest when we saw that we would lose this conquest? And then everything fall apart. Many things caused that. So Napo, the leader... He was not responding and his activity was decreasing every conquest we were playing so the, the closer we got to the uh, paramount finale finale the less active he was and maybe he was busy in real life i don't know but he didn't want to surrender his r5 position he didn't want anyone else to be in charge he was always he would always be the guy being in charge and this was a problem because when he was sleeping or when he was away from the game which is 99 percent of the time when you need the r5 to make a decision uh, build a c uh, i mean remove a cc to rebuild it somewhere that is a better place for strategic reason then you, it's very stressful because you only have like a limited time to do your move and while you're waiting for the boss that is sleeping, how can you do that? So that was one of the reasons uh, he would do very little. I'm not blaming him, but he was just not there. And the leader, the R5, he's the guy to take charge and command. So all the R4 were doing his job. And then the R4 got fed up, I believe. They didn't want to play anymore. They didn't want to... Uh, do their job because it was hopeless and then the players start wondering hey what's happening you know what goes when you start losing then everybody start not taking care of the game and uh when and and before we started losing i told to napo listen i mean if you don't bother answering my message or or being present then I'm going to leave the Alliance. Uh, be even before we, we would lose the Paramount Finale, I said, it's it's useless for me to keep playing in this Alliance if you're never online. So, and when we finished the Paramount with that loss, with that L, 
uh, I, I talked with a few players and many would be they didn't want to stay in G27. I, I don't, there was like no hope for G27 without a proper leader and that leader didn't want to uh, give his leadership. So you cannot work with somebody that doesn't want to give leadership away. So the best thing to do is to leave. And, and you, there's many alliances. If, if you don't like your alliance, you just leave. That's it. Yeah. He was in uh, Sosol, no? Jackie VN. Or maybe he was in Mass. Jackie VN 2022. Was this guy in Sosol or Mass? I remember this guy. I remember the name. <laughs> yeah and, and sad news friend oh I, I want my water i don't have water i want a glass of water i'm dehydrated so another sad news friend so diablo he left the game he sold his account to no money so if you remember diablo strong guy cool guy a very uh strong base active Maybe he's still playing, but he sold his account inside S21. So if you see I have no money fifth, that's uh, Diablo, I think. So it's a sad news. I like that guy. He was a very cool guy. Very knowledgeable of the game. Active too. So he left. Knights of Seven. So Knights of Seven, they were doing great. Yeah, what a lost time space. I agree. I mean, it's. He will not be forgotten, that's for sure. But uh, I, I think he left because the lack of action. It was not fun anymore. I suspect it's the lack of action. I, I mean. It's not the first time he he didn't he never complained, but he was just saying that uh, he was considering quitting. Uh, I I didn't think he would do it, uh, but I understand the, the reason behind that. There, there's no, I mean, this game it's not fun when there's no action. You play this game to go to war. You play this game to destroy units, uh, win or loss. If you're not busy playing. If you're not busy because there's no action, there's no reason to play, right? And when you dump insane amount of money in that account and you realize that it's not fun anymore, then it's another good reason to quit. Mind you, it was a whale. He could afford to spend, but it's not because you can't afford to spend that you should waste your money and not getting anything in return. So if the fun factor was not there, why spend freaking two hundred thousand dollars per a year uh, for nothing so he sold and he, he did the right thing so as for knights of seven I, I know this alliance because knights of seven they are from server seven and i'm i was from server eight and we play with and against these guys great bunch of guys uh knights of seven they were on their peak when big sarge was in charge of the alliance they had success before Big Sarge, of course. Big Sarge was a, was an S3 before, and he, he made his move. He moved from S3 to S7 uh, with a bunch of guys, I believe. Um, but S7 was already successful by then. But, I mean, they... Like any server, like any earlier server, they were uh, not set for failure, but... It was very hard for the, the old server to survive when the new server has those influx of better player or more knowledgeable players or more motivated players. The, the older the server is, the harder it is to keep it in shape because you have a lot of players that are uh, losing interest, getting demotivated versus all the new players from the new servers that just downloaded the game and are very exciting 
so the level of energy is not the same and it's very hard to oh bounce back from that Ooh, okay so fwz they are dropping now so we have two strong players we have a tournament and this guy is healing but they're not jumping in front of us they're staying behind so they may maybe they will creep on us so the same thing happened to hbr you know it's an older server server 12 they broke but they they didn't completely broke they went to another server I got attacked by him or her when I was 12.3 million and he was like 66. Of course, you got destroyed. I have no brain. I don't know who's. I have no brain. I assume that's the reason why he left. I cannot tell you exactly what why he left but i assume like it was not fun anymore that's why you see the fuck is this can you tell us something about i have no money where he's from and what is job <laughs> marco that's a good question i don't know i don't talk to i have no money so I have no money from what I know. He's a one person. He's a human being. He's most likely a businessman, a successful one. Uh, I've heard many stories, many things. Somebody told me he was he owned a bank. Somebody else told me he owned a casino. Somebody else told me he owned a hotel. And then somebody told me he owned a, a deluxe watch shop. Uh maybe it's all of the above i don't know i mean i'm i'm a businessman kind of i'm self-employed and everything regarding money i don't talk about this and most of the time those players they won't talk about that either he's a reserved person he wants to keep this private i guess uh but there's one only one i have no money guy everything else all those other accounts they got purchases but they got purchased by him and got given to his friend i guess that plays the game so i have no money second and third i think it's uh, starcrest and fibuchuji, fibuchuji which was a, a former g27 player so he purchased those two accounts he also purchased Scan's account that was in 22, a friend of Starcrest, I guess. So this is I have no money four, fourth or fifth. Uh, I mean, there's so many now, so I, I lost track, but basically he buys those accounts. And uh, that that's how he built this, this army. But as for the guy himself, I don't know him. He's Vietnamese, that's all I know. But maybe you heard stories about him. I, it's like a mystery, right? To to anyone who told me he was a, a watch dealer, I doubt it. Because to spend this insane amount of money, you need to sell a lot of watches. And a lot of them, okay? How much profit can you make on a watch? Is it that profitable to, uh, to buy and to spend over a million dollar, dollars uh, in this game? That, that is the question I'm asking if it's the case then i should uh deal watches as well right <laughs> in the end i don't care i'm very happy for him that he has such amount of money he must be working hard he must be very lucky regardless i'm not jealous i'm happy for him very happy and i mean it so if he's successful he's doing something right
I'm sure he is. I mean, he doesn't talk much, and that's good because when he talks, he's uh, everybody takes him seriously. He's he's well respected, and uh, that's all that matters. That's. There were very few cool guys that like whales, and most of the time, those whales. You know what we say, right? You don't tell you're a, a male alpha. Usually the male alpha speaks very little. And he doesn't have to tell you he's the male alpha. He is the male alpha. So that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, like Scan, Starcrest, No Money, all those mega whales, they rarely talk. And when they did, most of the time, it was not them. It was their driver, the account manager, the one playing for him that was talking. Uh, who's active? No money? Oh, my, my, my. I see something here. Situation awareness. Oh, no. Too late. Uh, no money used to be very active before. Now, he, I, I guess he is. He's active enough. But I remember... When I covered those fights of 21, I remember that No Money and, and his gang, okay, they would get active at a specific time. So just before reset, they would all plop in on the battlefield all together, well synchronized, well coordinated. They will all plop in and they would play for hours and hours until maybe... 19 UTC when they go they would fall asleep trying to uh damage control uh the enemy from bouncing back and then only a few hours later they would just jump again and 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 steamroll everything that's what they did back in the days that what impressed me the most now we don't see that much often because um S21 is more of an international alliance, meaning that we cover all time zones. But before, when it was mostly dominated by Vietnamese, that's how they would roll. I don't think so, Black Hollow. I, I don't know any whales that are uh, hostile or um, full of themselves. I mean, maybe they are and it, it doesn't bother me. Some of them, they talk a little bit more. Me, I, I don't care. I mean, I actually like it because it makes the chat more interesting as long as it's respectful. So that, that doesn't bother me. So now FWZ is dropping and dropping more in front of us. They're making a move. So we're going to make a move. How about that? We're going to try to make a move. I'm still in charge of this army group. Oops. And I'm surprised they, they're not dropping more because FWZ right now, they have the land advantage. They fight in claim land. They have the alliance bonus. They can ambush us. Maybe they, it's not their peak activity time, but I see two whales now. So they must, they have to be active. At this time, during reset, if you're not active at reset, you're not worthy of legendary. That's my opinion about that. So we're going to drop and we need air cover. So So yeah, we need more jets. We don't have enough jets. Cannot tag. 
Uh, la, 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 la. That is weird because Vietnam is one of the poorest countries in the world. Mean well, um, it's it's an emerging country. Okay, yes, it's a beautiful country. Uh, there's people that don't make a lot of money, but more and more stuff is fabricated in Vietnam. There's more business owner that improve the economy, so it's getting better. Like somebody said that Vietnam is the new China, meaning it now producing stuff in China is getting more expensive. So they're asking, uh, they're going to Bangladesh, Pakistan, Vietnam to produce, uh, to make those goods, and that promotes the economy for them. So that's why we're having uh, solid players and mega wells mostly from vietnam and asia in general but the thing that vietnamese uh do well they are dedicated to this game very dedicated to this game they take this game very seriously all right they are passionate about the game Yeah, seriously, we need fighters. We're lucky FWZ don't have uh, a strong air force. I mean, they they don't have weak air force. But if it was, uh, if it would be, let's say, Avengers in front of us, <laughs> they would bomb us like crazy. We're gonna make a move. Okay, he busted that bunker. I knew it would happen. So we're gonna clear that. So now it's gonna be touchy. We're going to see who's a good artillery commander and who's not. If we don't have fighters, that's going to be ugly. Is there a weak artillery I can start on? Like this guy. That would be perfect. Look at this. I'm going to one-shot this guy right there. Booping. Thank you. There you go. Another one shot. <laughs> Another one. So now they're going to attack me. Bing. Oh, I wasn't strong enough. But, I mean, I tried. So shall I blow up this base? Uh, that's going to be very interesting. If I launch the attack, I cannot even reach um, my destination. I need a strong RT. So 38, I'm going to creep on this guy. If I had a better artillery... There you go. One shot this guy. There you go. Bing. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Now it's on. Oh. Now it's on. I'm auto attacking. <laughs> That's how to create chaos. Sorry if it's hard to track the action. I'm in auto attack. That's the only way for me to... Uh, I, did I lose my tank? I did lose my tank. This 
This light tank is going to eat it. There you go. This infantry as well. All right, so we need a tanking unit. There you go. <laughs> Bing. So I'm going to stay away from this guy. Looks unhappy. Okay, we got jets. We got jets. We need jet support, friends. Oh my. No! And I lost my jets. So we're going to light up this base. My group is not in the best shape. Oh, we have Hawk. Okay. Cool guy. So we can definitely use this guy. I will train. I lost my tank and both of my artilleries. I have a I need a better artillery in front. Oh, mistake number 1. I'm gonna try my luck on this poor guy. Ah, oh, he saw me coming. <laughs> oh shit. Now, if he goes out of his base, that's not going to end well for him. The guy's going to do a good report. Oh, I died. Sorry, bro. Okay, so Hawk is here for the kill. Let's not set ourselves for failure. We need jets. I'm gonna move, I'm not gonna stay like that like a dummy. Oh my god, we don't have any air force. I, I can't. Without air force, fuck it. Sorry for my language, but no. No jets. That is not gonna work. We have to fall back. 
I'm not I'm not doing that without Jess, no way. You see they put a, a tag back because it's not um if you want my advice. Artillery needs air support. Without this, you are a target, easy target for bombers. So I, as soon as I saw those bombers, uh, then I fall back. It's not worth losing troops for that. I'm going to clean my AG offline. Off you go. So more can join me. Everybody who's off, offline and not feeding me. They are out. Nothing worse than having a group you cannot join because, uh, you know, the group is full, right? I'm gonna night works. I will publish your message because I find it interesting. And I will scramble. And pull out my anti air. I'm lucky that bomber was quite weak, otherwise it would have done some damage. So I'm gonna uh, just place my artillery uh, below. I lost my jets. What else is new? All right, I'm tr night works. I'm trying to publish. Okay. So what Nightworks uh, attempted to write because the of the strong language, the message was censored, but I want to publish it anyways. So what it said is I quit the game. So the, the player said I quit the game. I gave my account to play to a, an Indonesian arsehole, but then he changed my password. But somehow I recovered it. That was my that was very bad it is better not to share account to anyone there is a risk so folks all you friends out there sharing accounts is like sharing your bank pin number would you do it no so it's exactly the same thing when you share the account so you share you give control to your account to someone you don't know if you know him that's a different story even so there is a risk behind that. So when you share your account, even though you have the the, the backdoor, the third party uh, access, let's say that this account is binded to Facebook, Google, Game Center, and whatnot, even though we cannot completely retrieve the account, this player could could harm you. It could maybe disassemble all, all your gold plus plus parts. It could disassemble all your units into prototypes. It could make some damage. Why would it do that? Well, I mean, it's it's we're getting into details here, but the motivation to do that is because something happened or he's the driver of the account and he feels entitled to own the account. So when you say that, the account is selling and is the driver is losing this account as well so he cannot play anymore for free because he's a parasite right so he may do something like that so be mindful of that when you share an account i'm not going to tell you not to do it because you are a grown adult or grown man women you know what you you know what you're doing so you know the risk but just be careful it, it, it can happen it can happen and uh, when you dump thousands and thousands of dollars into this account and this disappeared, it's like somebody taking your bank account and empty it of the equivalent value. Now we have Professor K <laughs> who jumped in. He is, a, he is the strongest player of FWZ, I believe. 
he got a tough base, a monster base, one of the hardest base to destroy in this game. One of the hardest, maybe not the hardest. The hardest would be no money, but he is one of the tough, toughest players, and he knows how to play. So a lot of whales, they they know the game, but they're not a master player. He is a master. He knows what's up. So he is a very dangerous guy to approach, and you need a lot of units, and you need good coordinations, and you need a air. You need everything. S fourteen. They are not in this battlefield. They are N F G. They are N F G. Oh, he's gonna go for me. So NFG went, uh, sorry, 14 went to server 34. They renamed NFG, but they, it was a tough path as they, um, they got caught by the glorious status. So we're going to try to prevent this player from approaching. And if nobody wakes up in time. I auto attack this bitch. Whoa. Oh my god. I don't have any support. So that's going to be tough. Okay, I have to, that was a mistake, I have to disband and train in a timely fashion. Oh my gosh, I lost everything. So supply, buff, uh, troop expansion, assault training, advance, and boom, and boom. So when you see a uh, smoke, it means there's a fire. And when there's a fire, you need to take action because your base will start to melt. So am I linked? Let's go. Let's go. So am I linked? Okay. I want to unlink this. Now I'm set up for base defense. So gl I I'm glad that I have some good teammates trying to defend my base. So that is the good part. But Professor K is no weak. And he knows the danger. And now we have uh, a tournament that's going to side him. Yeah, that artillery was way too close. Well, Professor K didn't do much. The army group in front of him uh, did all the work. But yeah, he no, doesn't matter. He's a good player. So am I... Yeah, I'm pretty good now. So my setup is focused on defense. I should be all right. So it's truly the first time that FWZ is attacking. Can you tell where is the situation of current conquest that you're playing? I told that at the beginning. So if my base goes up in flame, I will tell you. Well, I will try to tell you. As soon as um, I can um, drive my attention away for a second, because now I need to be focused on the game if I want to defend myself. But will they attack? That is the question. He is the one who gave the world. 
morale to the army grew. Time space. He's the one who gave the morale to the army grew. They were scared. Now they are confident. I'm not sure to understand what you're saying, but it does not. Oh, somebody's going to get one shot. Look at this. Look at this Henry guy. He cannot go back and he will get destroyed. There you go. Oh, no, I go back. <laughs> yeah, just in time. Ooh, that was close. All right. Um, to get rid of Professor K, we just need a lot of bodies. We need a whole army. <laughs> That's what we need. That, that, this is what we need. So we need to clear out the people behind those bases. And then we can proceed to siege. Um... There you go. I lost some units. I wasn't being careful. And now he's losing some. I like this new emoji. It's it's quite nice. I think it's my emoji. Oh, we have a fighter. No. Ah, come on. I think he's somewhere. Ish. Oh yeah, look how many we are building a quite an army right there. We're building an army. We are preparing to invade North Korea. It's a figure of speech. Uh Professor K is losing troops though. He is losing some. Hey, General Prince, what is good, my friend? You you missed a little bit of action. Sorry to say that. To have... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, nobody's online. So if I zoom out, before when I started this uh, the stream, there were five bases, and look how many we are, and and more are massing. You missed the cat. <laughs> so look how many bases. Everybody wants a piece of the action.
we have two of the strongest players of FWZ at our doorstep, Professor K and Atonman, two big guys, and me, my tiny base at 539 uh, million power. I'm a nobody, I'm a small fish. So while we're building up, let me just collect my, my stuff. Uh, we are hungry for kills. I mean, like I said earlier, very few have their 25,000 kills. Imagine that, very few. Only a lucky, I mean, it's a sometimes you, you get lucky. You are at the right place at the right time. You make a lot of kills, uh, defense kills. That's amazing. But um, most of the time we are attacking. Therefore, we are the one losing reserves. So the price to pay for those kill is quite high. Oh, huh, what happened here? I fired? Not sure how my artillery fired when they were... Um... That is weird. Weird things happening in this game sometimes. Oh, yes. So a good trick to harvest some kills is to leave your artillery at the front. As long as you don't forget to recall them. And you just collect those kills one by one. Make an ar put an armor in front. Oh, are we going for for Professor K now? Shit. Now is is oh, I, I do. So what's going uh what's happening right now? Oh my god. No, we can't. I can't. If I do, he's gonna smoke me. No, 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 no. He's gonna smoke me because what happened is he got a light tank with a steel fighter or any officer with a shield. And what happened is when you approach the base or by mistake somebody fly over his base, then for some reason it activate. Yeah. It activates the base uh, defensive system, but only the light tank is firing. But with Professor K, when he have a heavily modified light tank, even though only this unit is firing, he makes quite a lot of damage. So <laughs> the reflex for the, the Alliance sieging that base is, oh, his base is activated, let's smoke him out while we can. Well, you can't do that with Professor K because he got a strong base. Everybody needs to attack at the same time. Otherwise, you will lose everything. Even when we all fire at the same time, we lose a lot. That's how strong he is. So now he, he thinks he's smart, he's leaving an artillery in front, thinking I'm going to attack him, but if I do, the base aggro will fire at me. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until he cools off. But now there's a little bit less uh, troops eh, behind. There used to be a lot more. We cleaned some and we lost some at the same time, but it's the name of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot help. If I help, I will lose my troops and then he will burn me.
Yeah, Adele lost his anti-tank gun. Do I have a message? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't. I'm trying to seize the moment when his artillery is busy. Maybe fire a few shots at him. No, 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 no spy activate his uh, base. So he got the light tank with the defensive officer. That's why, that's what is causing us some trouble. And they, they got the, they have the alliance buff since they are fighting in uh, active claim land. So we have to take this into consideration. That's another a buff that is stacked over them. We could attack from this side. So let's say that we are ready to siege his base. We need fighters and we need to attack from this side. So if this guy could creep forward a little bit to block a base from jumping, that would be good. And you see that Professor K, <laughs> he knows he, he could die. He could die, his base could blow up as he activated his buff. So he's, he, he, he's not taking too much risk. Est-ce que tu penses que AV a... Est-ce que tu penses que AV a... Plus que ça avance, ils perdent de plus en plus de gros joueurs. Ça me surprend qu'ils se font kill en 1 versus 2 et demi, alors que pendant la COP, c'était pour eux. Ah, c'était easy pour eux. So what he's saying, I'm going to translate. He's saying that, um, do you think that AV is losing ground in this conquest as they are being attacked by two and a half alliances. The two and a half are S40, hashtag S40 and NFG maybe? So right now it's only S40 and hashtag S40. So I don't know, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that AV is struggling against S40 as FWZ, they were doing fine against S40. That is the thing. So I'm not going to win this duel. No, he's activated. Come on, guys. No, no. There you go. Yeah, so AV is... Uh, no, you're not going to get me. Yeah, AV is struggling right now. And I believe they asked for FWZ for help because they were getting... Um, they were in danger. They're not losing players. So AV, they got even better players since the last conquest. They got Top Top. They got um, Napo's account. He sold to a some guy that joined AV. And I think they got two or three, two more whales. So they gain in power, but the power itself is not enough. It's not alone. You need activity. You need 24 hours activity. So if let's say that you want to create an alliance, you are a, a Canadian, like, no, not a Canadian. Let's pick a, a smaller country. Let's take France. So you're French and you want to create a null French alliance. That is amazing. All, all from France. So a good, good vibe inside the alliance good friendship everything is awesome your downfall is anything outside your time zone you will struggle you need if you want a good solid alliance well if you want a solid alliance you need to cover 
all those time zones. Because when you're sleeping, when a strategic place open for contest, and you cannot be online to capture it, you're done. So uh, FWZ, they are mostly Asian. Now they are waking up. They have good activity when they are online, but out, uh, out, outside Asian hours, they're not quite active. Uh, it seems like it's the same thing for AV, but they're more uh, uh, from uh, Europe. Um, they don't have 24 hours activity, so maybe that plays against them. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Uh, S40 have tremendous activity. They have the best activity so far very impressed by uh, that alliance i've said it before i'm gonna say it again kudos to s40 they are very underestimated they don't have a lot of whales but they are moving like whales yeah top top is nah. for those who don't know top top uh, before it was top top this guy was named Amorn Express he was in G27 and I believe that before G27 he was in 25 anyways he is before he sold he was a beast he was a strong what's going on here nothing he was he was a strong player I mean when I say strong strong in power and strong in knowledge and he was very aggressive he would he was a great team player but when everything was when the team like clear the alliance or or did his job he would not go to sleep he would solo bases all night long and i remember the first time i encounter um top top the first time i encounter a, a more an express which is now top top I was in HBR and we played against server 24 and 25. He was in either one alliance. I think it was in 25. And he would just solo bases. He would park his base on the edge uh, of our claim land. And he would go to town. He would bring, I think it was a main battle tank. And he had three rocket trucks. And those rocket trucks, they were heavily modified. I mean, they were no weak. And with the MBT and those th three rocket truck, it was very mobile. So by the time those rocket truck would start engaging, the base was already burned out. It was already half dead. He, he was violent. I mean, this guy, he would burn out. It would burn like base after bases solo and it would be very mobile. And no matter what you do, you try to send bombers, he would send his jet. You could not counter this guy. I mean... At my level, I could not do anything. Even if he was inside your claim land with your bonus, you could not defeat this guy. But when he sold to Top Top, that was a whole different story. I mean, I don't know Top Top, but this guy, he can't play the game. He's not, I like he's online one hour a day and he doesn't know how to play. That's the sad reality. I don't want to trash the guy. I'm just saying that he doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to play. That's it. A, 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 a totally different like money doesn't give you everything you need the talent behind it and you need the time behind it oh fuck and i can't see anything because of this stupid tag No, no, he, he, top top. He, I mean, <laughs> if top top, you're listening to the stream. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to make. I don't want to make fun of you. But he is just. You cannot be good at this game just by throwing money and only play one hour per day. You cannot learn this game. There's so much thing uh, to learn about this game. So I mean, if you don't invest the time, then you don't get the benefit. Yeah, I love the uh, Frost. I, I saw your question. So the MBT, 
it seems to me that it's making a comeback. Yes, it used to suck with the introduction of the helicopter, but now it's getting up there. And as you can see, well, maybe you didn't see, um, I can tank now with the MBT. Mind you, I have those two officers here that are quite strong, but they're not bistro officers. And my MBT, it's not the best uh, in the world. It's okay. I could still have a little bit better parts. Uh, like a better barrel, what, which is a gold plus assembled perfectly into a gold plus plus. So not quite a real gold plus plus. I'm missing a few base skin. Obviously, some are impossible to obtain. But it is a good compromise now between a field fighting unit and a tanking unit. So in the field, it will chew up light tank just like this. And for tanking base, if you have the, the proper options, the proper parts, it's a good compromise. It's not perfect, but it's better than an helicopter for tanking bases. That is for sure. So yes, I do believe that the main battle tank, now it's, it's up there. It's more resistant to blast damage. And it's holding uh, a little bit better now. So I'm glad that they buffed the MBT because before that, nobody would care about this unit. Everybody would uh, use the helicopter, which is not the best for tanking. However, the helicopter got the landscape advantage. I'm going to wash your base, uh, Prince. So you're making good progress here, eh? Oh, you're right at the blockhouse. So you push back mass. Oh, they removed their CC. They had a CC there. They moved it. So well done. They could not progress. You did well, brother. I'm going to move in my claim land so I get the bonus. There you go. Oh, yeah. I still lost some jets, though. Edel got a good fighter. This guy is all fighter. Did I manage to make some kills? So, at tournament, yeah, I got some troops. I got this super heavy in my artillery. Adela, uh, yeah, I lost more than I killed. 4 0, blah, blah, blah. Against Professor K, I'll take that. It's not much, but this is not good. This one is not good. So, yeah, when you siege base, uh, or you get your plane destroyed by this guy. So what happened here? Yeah, my planes, they got absolutely broken. All right. Oh, two refined components. All right. So are we doing something here? So we have a light tank on standby, and then the helicopter went for the artillery. Uh-oh, somebody flew over his base. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at this. It's firing now. Oh, my, my. I don't want any of that. I'm going to pull back. Uh, Professor K seems to be not connected. I'm going to help my buddies. 
I'm going to place my jet just at the border of the... Oh, more. I'm going to say hello to Adele. Oh, he's going to get... He's getting gangbang. He doesn't want any of that. And this base is active. Okay. So either fall back or do something or engage the base. Just don't stand there. It's not the place where you want to go. So now we can smoke out Professor K. We can smoke him out if we have a, a, a tanking unit. Will I be the lucky one to tank? I'm kind of tired to lose <laughs> units. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Don't let him wake up. Just go. Okay. This is the part that is stressful. You wait. You wait. And the, somebody drop a bomber. Like, why are we waiting? We have, like, more than enough. Go. Okay. Let's do it. Let's smoke him out. Look at the amount of howitzers firing. I already lost one. Look how durable his base is. This is crazy. Yeah, he was not connected. He was not online. That's why he left his troop. Now he's going to die. And that's okay. At least we get that. So good game, Prof. You are a strong player. Very strong. Now, B4, uh, should we go, or we're going to go for Queen T5 first? I know that Lord of Tournament, he is online. I know he's not doing anything because right now it's useless. He's only going to lose. At this point, you cannot do anything. It's worthless. You will only lose unit and make your base weaker. So he's going to wait until he get attack and uh, hopefully he can teleport without losing too much. So I'm going to put my tank right there. Why? To prevent a unit from dropping and causing chaos. Oh, I guess we're going for this guy. Because Hawk decided so, but he got a, he got a good super heavy tank, and our artillery is pre-charged, so this is good. We're gonna save that for a second load time. Oh, I got a subscriber. I think I heard the bell. Whoever subscribed, thank you. Uh-oh, somebody flew over his base. Yeah, maybe Lord is not... Oh, yeah, he is. He is online. He is. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, but I'm all right with, I'm, I'm not excited about 10.0 units. I think that Lilith, uh, they listen to the community and put uh, and pump the brakes on the 10.0 units. Uh, now, uh, the Vanguard 10.0 tank is the Leclerc tank, and they decide to put a skin inside of a full unit. And if you saw the new bomber skin, the, the new Liberty bomber skin, it's the same one as the 10.0 unit. 
So I don't think that we will see the 10.0 unit soon. As for the Navy, I'm not unhappy about that. It will be Conquest exclusive, which is, is good and a bad thing. The good thing is you won't have to spend a lot of resource to develop that technology. The bad thing is if, it, if it's uh, Conquest exclusive, it means that as soon as you leave Conquest, you lose it. So if you purchase some packs to expedite the research, uh, process to develop that navy inside the conquest all this money is wasted it is wasted anyways in this game but it's even worse in the conquest because now whatever you develop and you lose you have to start all over again at the next conquest so i guess that lilith found a, a new way to make more money is to have temporary units right are you happy about that <laughs> i'm not I look happy, but I'm just laughing about it because I work in cell and this is beautiful cell marketing. This is um, well done. <laughs> Speaking about uh, finance and, and numbers and money, did you guys watch DX7? video about him uh turning into free to play player if you didn't watch this video i invite you to watch it i think it's a very well made video it's more of a, a food for thought type of content when he's um he's he's uh, backing his decision by he spent a lot of money in the games even though he can afford it he realized that this was a big waste and he will decide to enjoy this game now being a free to play uh, i think it's worth watching it it's one of those videos that um it's not about the content itself but it's more about a a, a thought and i think those videos are very interesting because it's bringing new dimension and yes it's fun to be the most powerful and to have the best tech but if this this money you spend in the game uh prevent your kids from going to college or or uh <laughs> doesn't uh or, or uh, make your life miserable because you only think about spending in this game then maybe you have a problem i mean a game must be fun it must be it must stay a game and you need to it's if it's fine if you can spend in this game that's amazing but as long as it's not hurting your finance or your retirement plan or any other project, right? So that's why I love that video. I think it uh, was interesting. So I invite you to watch it, uh, even though he's, he's a, a content creator. Uh, he's not. I don't consider him a rival, but he brings... I'm glad that he bring out that topic. This, it's kind of hard to talk about this because every time we talk about money, it's a, it's a, not a taboo, but it's a sensitive budget. It's a sensitive topic, but he was not afraid to bring it out and say how much he spent on that game. Even though I think he spent more than what he said he did, but it doesn't matter. It's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it. But... He got lucky though. So the DX7, he doesn't have like incredible troops in terms of technology. He's all into base skin and base skin collection. So he got pretty much almost everything. He's way up there in the base skin collection without being a legitimate well. And he understand that those base skin helps, it gives you quite a lot of buff. So he understand that aspect of the game which is great and 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 the thing that why is he lucky is he's playing in a server that doesn't have a lot of competition among spenders so just to better understand what i'm trying to explain so let's take 21 right in the last conquest we had the gunner to the top event where you play bingo a bingo battle and you play for yourself, but you also play with other players from your alliance and players from other alliances. I think they link up to three servers together. 
So it's a like an auction thing where the biggest spender wins. Basically, it's as simple as that. So if you play against in the, a, a, a less active server against less active other servers, then there's not much competition. If you uh, you could obtain that skin almost cheaper than a regular skin from the Percy showroom or the legendary showroom because you're the only one you only have to purchase a few bingo cards and then you obtain the skin but if you play and if you take the example of 21 last conquest we were playing against mass and when you play against mass that have a lot of spenders then it gets difficult it's more difficult to beat those players because you have to outspend them and some players they spend up to thirty thousand dollars. You heard that right, thirty thousand dollars—the price of a an average car for a base skin. That is crazy. When you think about that, it's like the casino. You drop a thirty thousand bill, boom, uh, right there in one shot to obtain a skin and dx7 since he's playing in a dead server he probably got that skin for peanuts uh which is not the case for us yeah bingo is coming back because it's <laughs> it helps lilith uh driving ferraris <laughs> Yeah, bingo battle. If you play in the dead server, that you are very lucky. Uh, if you play in a busy server, then prepare your credit card. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that's the proper emoji for that. Ooh, somebody jump. I'm gonna watch the fight. I'm gonna sideline this fight as I want to keep my reserves for the blockhouse. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna pump the brakes <laughs> on the reserves as uh, I see them uh, melting. I'm still gonna share the battle with you, friends. For those who are sticking around, it's almost eleven. Oh, this base is activated. God damn. Well, there's a infantry here. So B2K, go ahead, my friend. Light up this base. Can we? Yeah, he's a small guy. But not in... Oh, my, my. Oh, fudge. Yeah, exactly, TSM. So what he's saying is... Um, he's playing in an almost dead server, but they are... Oh, this guy failed his jump. <laughs> so he's playing a dead server, but against a healthy server. So it's it ends up being the same thing for uh, that round. Maybe in the, the other round will be better. So Thunder HK, sorry, bro. You failed. <laughs> Oh, I lost my fighter. Yep. Guess I lost my fighter. Oh, uh, yeah. Because of this guy. Oh, my fuck. Bastard. So that's what uh, happened when you play without sound. You don't hear the, uh, the cue saying that your troops are dying. So I do the ultimate sacrifice for you guys. I don't play without sound, and I pay the price. But if it's for the show, that's all that matters, right? We're going to guard our supply line from this base. He's a, he's a strongish player. 
I've seen and heard of Well spend a hundred thousand plus on some games. Not sure if if there is any like that in Warpath. Oh yes, my friend. Any so listen to me, uh, Flannery, Flannery, Novia. So any player that any base that is above 600 million power right now spend more than 100 grand okay Uh, Starcrest was I don't know if you know Starcrest he was one of the one of the whale of top that got rebranded in uh, Alliance 22 at a given moment in time he was the strongest player now it's no money but before that it was Starcrest and Starcrest um the deal between Starcrest and no money I'm I'm saying it now because this information got leaked or got broadcast. So the deal was uh, three bases of Starcrest for a hundred grand in that transaction, and it was a good deal because to bring that account to that power, he spent close to a million bucks. Yes, you heard me correctly. Maybe not one million per month. Uh, I hope not. just insane amount of money but when you're pissing out cash it's only money right it's only money oh a tournament is back with his jet is he somewhere yeah he is and now we have a small group uh yep so this guy will say goodbye. Three eleven million power. One million. I can see that being the total, but I guess that's the cost of almost one billion power. Yeah, that is, that is the cost. But when you think, uh, I mean, yeah. But when you think about this, one million for you, you bought, you purchase a house for a million bucks, right? If you resell that like a dummy, worst case scenario, you don't lose any money. You break even. Okay, I'm excluding the cost of living. Uh, you purchase a car for a million bucks. Worst case scenario, you will lose half. But when you spend a million in an account and you sell it for a hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think you lose <laughs> that's the crazy thing oh no oh he's gonna lose everything oh no but if for you spending a million dollar is just like spending a hundred bucks then it doesn't matter as long as you're having fun right this is the thing we don't understand the the normal person who have to to work from nine to five this is out of this world money for him it's nah, business as usual yeah exactly so what do you pick between awakening a bistro officer or spending a week 
in a all-inclusive resort with the airfare and everything, right? When you think about that. Oh man, a tournament is cleaning everyone. Oh my lord. Oh, he's going to do beautiful report. Oh, he's advancing. Now there's no more artillery. He will freaking clean everything as he got the initiative. Now he keeps loading and loading. Now those strong officers on top of it. Now this Chinese guy is going to assist. Oh, it's going to be a uh, glee that's not gonna end well for us back up guys back up you see he cleaned everything and he's gonna clean hawk even though hawk got some good artilleries but he um single shot him with the oh now hawk may have something Yeah, Hawk got some solid troops, but two against one, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, money doesn't buy happiness. It, it maybe helps. I was reading, I mean, money, if you, hard, if you work hard for your money is one thing. If you win the lottery is another thing, completely different. And I, I've read a lot of a lot of articles where uh, when you win the lottery it do more harms than good meaning that your life expectancy gets shorter you do you make stupid decision you buy stupid stuff and you end up uh bankrupt most of the time because you have access to a lump sum a large amount of money and you don't know how to manage it and you make some stupid mistakes because you don't understand the value of money you keep spending and spending and giving and wasting and then the next morning you realize you are broke af and you die or uh you get assassinated you get murdered because somebody is jealous and you lose all your friends well i'm gonna start th stop talking about that because this is bad vibes now but you catch my drift. So Punisher. Um, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to close this stream in a few minutes. We're going to burn this guy first. Okay. So let's do that. Let's burn this guy. Then um, I'm going to call it a night. It was a pretty good stream. A lot of action. I did not expect that. It turned out to be very good for us, for me and you guys. So how much power does he have? 412, we need a little more artillery. I'm going to prevent. Are you ready? Okay, more is coming. I just want to make sure we don't lose everything because of a stupid mistake. All right, we have a fast group. It's going to clean up the little guy behind. Pew, pew, pew. And this one, and Punisher, okay. Please follow through, okay. <laughs> as long as I'm not the only one firing, that's good. All right. All righty, boys and girls, maybe. So, friends, that's it for today. Uh, if you enjoy the stream, give me a thumbs up for the donation. Thank you a lot. Thanks for the subscription. Uh, much appreciate, 
your support is much appreciated i can't talk it's late now i'm gonna wish you a great week uh, i will try to i will pump up some content some uh, game footage we had last week just before i left for holidays and uh, i will try to make another stream friday just to recap what happened during the week with that special event and whatnot so until then friends thanks for your support and i wish you a great week see ya